Hi, my name is Jane and this is Loopy Mabel's Closet. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're already a subscriber, hello and welcome back. And so today's video is about me and trying to find my own style in my dressmaking. So I shall see you back here in a minute. <music> Welcome back. So yeah, I, really today's video was really triggered by, I went out for coffee with my mum and my daughter last week and we always go, we went shopping and we always go coffee first before we even go in any shops because that's the law and then we go shopping and then if we've got time we'll have another cup of coffee and then if we've got time we'll do a little bit more shopping and then we normally go home. So last week we went shopping and we went for our usual coffee and I was wearing, um, what was I wearing? I think I was wearing my um, indigo dress by Tilly and the buttons that I've just made. And I will show you more detail on that in my next blog with all of the makes I've done for October. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you that in more detail. So yes, yeah, so I think I was wearing that and I had uh, my jeans on and my boots and what have you and somebody commented in the coffee shop and said oh that is gorgeous where did you get that and I was like saying oh I made it and I was like really really proud and my mum mum daughter were like oh she's so clever and she's made all these items and a dressmaker you know it's amazing and her wardrobe's overflowing and we had a little chat anyway the lady went and uh, our Sophie my daughter said I love that dress you got on, Mum, but it's nothing like the blouse that you made that she also loved, my Bloomsbury blouse. And she said, so what is it that you really like to wear? So it made me think, really, because it is, I do have a bit of a mishmash style, I think. I, I mean, I started dressmaking at the beginning of this year, 2019. I, I could dressmake before, but I haven't done any sewing since my children were little and they're all grown up now. My two sons, they're 32, my daughter's 30, and I haven't done any dressmaking since, oh, my daughter was two, three, four, five age. I used to make her dresses and dungarees for the boys. So I can sew, but I just haven't, you know, went to work and raised the children and the usual things. So I haven't really had the time. So obviously, beginning of this year, I have had the time. I started off with easy patterns just to get me back into the zone, back into the swing of dressmaking. And I started off with the Betty blouse. You may have seen the video that I did on it. And here it is. I'll just show you the Betty blouse. Really simple make. I really enjoyed making it. It's so pretty with the pin tucks at the front. And then I went and did a little bit of coordinating, binding on the neck. I had some pretty floral bias tape, so I used that and really enjoyed doing it. Um, and I love the fabric. The fabric is definitely me because I do like anything vintage, sort of granny, rustic type of look. I'm not into bright and gaudy geometrics or abstract. Well, I don't think I am. Um, so the fabric is so me, but the fabric is quilting cotton, which I have tons of because I don't know whether you know, I used to have a haberdashery shop about four or five years ago and I've still got bales and bales and bales of quilting fabric. In fact, I must put them up online and see if anybody would like them because I've got some amazing fabrics. So this was one of them and didn't really think. I just thought, oh, that's a pretty fabric. I'll do a bit of dressmaking, which is fine. It's absolutely fine to do dressmaking with quilting, cotton, no problem, but it is a little bit rigid, shall we say. There's no drape, there's no movement. It's just a straight top. So when I wear it, I just feel like I'm wearing a box because there's nothing, nothing to it, even though it is really pretty. And it is, it's a very square design which is what I wanted to start off with. I didn't want any fitting in sleeves or collars. I just wanted something really simple. And this really is simple. But now it's just not going to get worn. I know it's not going to get worn. I thought I would wear it with some like long sleeve type of tops like this I've got on today. Um, but 
I just don't think I'm going to wear it. So if there's anybody out there that would like to wear it, I will happily send you it in the post rather than it sitting in my wardrobe being unworn. I think it's a size 14 I did, so English size 14. It's very straight down, there's no sleeves, just holes for you obviously and it just comes to hip length, not even probably hip length, just probably well maybe hip length, Just it won't cover your bottom or anything like that. So if anybody out there would love to receive this in the post, please message me in the box below and obviously if there's a lot of you out there, I'll just obviously do a random pick and pick the person that comes up. So I'd rather give it to one of you lovely people than it sit and be wasted in my wardrobe. But as I say, it's made out of quilting cotton so there's not much drape, well there's no drape really, but it's a really pretty top. So that was my first make and really enjoyed it and wore it a few times so then I went on to the Sarah shirt which again was a little bit more challenging loved making it again though I used quilting cotton didn't think I just thought that's a really pretty fabric my head was like yeah pattern pretty let's make it didn't consider that again it hasn't got any drape and it's probably not the best fabric to have chosen but I really enjoyed making this. It has 10 buttons. I did the buttonholes. It has a lovely Peter Pan collar. Then it's got the yoke at the back with like, um, is it inverted pleat? I think it is, I'm not sure. And little sleeves, fitted sleeves. And I have made it to perfection if I say so myself. Again, the fabric, lovely little ditzy print is is me totally me but again I don't think I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this one so this is another one I am prepared to give away in the post if somebody would like to receive it this is a size I think it's a size 14 I'll do all the measurements I'll pop all the measurements for the blouses in the box below and then um, at least it gives you an idea but I think I did this size 16 I'm sure I did and it's, as I say, it's got the buttons down the front. I think it's 10 buttons and it's really, really pretty. But I'm just not going to, I know I'm not going to wear it. It's, um, it's just not going to get worn. I just don't think it's me. I think that's what this dressmaking is teaching me or has taught me so far this year that I, I'm going to have to slow down a bit in what I choose and make I think I think I started off thinking oh dressmaking I'm loving it again I'm back into my dressmaking and I was just ordering fabrics or using the fabrics not really considering was there a drape is there a drape is it the right fabric to use for that pattern is it going to suit me is it really me will I wear it all those things where now here we are in October 10 months down the line I am really much more considerate of what I'm going to make is it the right fabric will I wear it has it got drape what's the fabric content has it got stretch you know all those things in dressmaking which I didn't do back in January so it has taught me all those things but I'm still developing my style so back to my daughter saying well mum you know that Tilly the Buttons Indigo is lovely it's gorgeous it's like you know like smock length I did like the smock length but then this Bloomsbury blouse which is totally more I would say more a classier style is me too it's all me I absolutely love wearing this I feel like I'm the boss when I'm wearing this I really do I feel confident I feel stylish so she made me think, thinking, God, what is my style? What do I have a style? What is my style? But then when you look at this, this is the Carson dress, which is again the bottom half is out of quilting cotton, but you can get away with it because it's not too it's not too bad for the bottom half. And some old Sanderson curtains. So oh, it, they're like chalk and cheese, really. That, which is like granny chic vintage type of look and this which is nothing which is more stylish it's more modern it's more on trend so the 
two different looks. Now today, what am I wearing? In fact, I'm not wearing anything me made today. Shock horror. I am wearing, to be fair though, this is a charity, Charity Find. Got this in the charity shop the other day. So I love the polka dots and it's like a little, it's made out of, is it like Georgette or something like that? Chiffon type of fabric. I'm still learning the fabric, so I don't know, but, and it's got like a net, net sleeves and then I just got like a roll neck top underneath. So it's from the charity shop, so I suppose it's all part of my me made, handmade, frugal wardrobe. And then I've just got my seamstress little pin badge there. Um, and I've put mine onto like a brooch, brooch finding and I'm wearing it as a badge. I've got two of these. I've got one for me and I've got one for my lovely friend Rosie at Rosie Sews Modern Vintage. We buddied up and we're just great friends now. And she's put hers on a necklace and I put mine on a pin. So this shows you how different styles we've all got. So I guess I am still learning what my style is because really this, what I'm wearing today, is really nothing like my Carson dress, which is vintage curtains and floral and more vintage looking, whereas today it's more, I would say, an up-to-date, more modern look. So maybe I'm just a girl of two halves. <laughs> I don't... Honestly, seriously don't know. Um, I mean, I, I do you find the same when you're dressmaking? Do you find that you're not sure what your style is? Or, or is it just by being me, whatever I wear is my style? Maybe that's, maybe that's the way I should look at it. Maybe whatever I wear, I'll, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to make it mine, aren't I? I'm going to add or do something or uh, accessorise it to make it me because nobody else would be what I do so I suppose that is my style so maybe that's the answer I'm not sure but yeah, I'm loving finding out what I like and what I don't like it's, it does definitely make me think twice now about oh that's a really I might see gorgeous fabric because there's lots of I follow lots of fabric shops on Instagram and there's some absolutely gorgeous fabrics comes up every day and I'm so tempted and then I think Oh yeah, but what would I use? It it's like, for example, a French terry. I think, oh, that's gorgeous. But then, do I want anything to make with French terry? No. So then, don't order it. Whereas back in January, February, I think, oh, that's gorgeous, French terry. Let's order it. Then, what you're going to do with it when it comes? I don't know. So now I'm kind of doing it the reverse way. On now, I'm planning, finding the pattern. That's a nice pattern. What fabric does it suggest? What does it recommend? And then. Then I'm thinking, right, do I need to make that? Do I need that in my wardrobe? Am I desperate for that dress? Or am I desperate for that blouse? Do I really need those trousers or whatever? And then if the answer is yes, then think, right, I'm, I'm gonna make it. And then what fabric will I need? And type, I'm doing it the right way, I think, rather than back in the early part of the year, it was like, oh, that fabric is gorgeous, let's get it. Oh, that pattern's amazing, let's get it. And then that fabric doesn't go with that pattern, there's not enough. Or, or there's th that drape for that pattern is not, you know, type of thing. So I guess it's um, so far in 10 months, I have come on leaps and bounds and I've learned an absolute loads on dressmaking. Not just for the dressmaking skills, because I have improved my skills amazingly, I think. But it's also like make me think about me and what I like and will I wear it. And also body confidence. If you asked me last year to post a picture of myself floating about in the garden or in the woods, because the woods are just literally over our fence. We have the fence and the garden and we have the woods just literally over the fence. And if you asked me last year to go and pause in the woods with your camera and your tripod and take some photographs, I would have just said, I would have just laughed. No way, not a chance. But now, yeah, and I don't care if everybody's walking past, if I'm stood there posing in my tripod and or my daughter's taking photographs and she's going this way mom this way mom head down all that and somebody walks past last year i would have been mortified i'm telling you but this year i don't care because i feel i'm feeling confident in myself i mean i'm 54 now and i've spent far too long worrying about what other people might think or will it suit me am i too old is that style for younger people it's absolute rubbish it really is if you love something and it makes you happy and it makes you smile and it makes you feel comfortable wearing it, then why can't you wear it? So I'm just saying it's like this has 
given me the confidence to, to just be me at last. I think I'm getting there, I'm not there yet, but I think I'm definitely getting there in being me. I, I went out the other day and I had some mustard glittery socks on, like gold coloured glittery socks with some brogues and some like half mast jeans, you know, jeans that the jeans that come up above your ankle and um, I can't remember what top it was, another top and a bow in my hair, like I made like a, a crochet flower and I put the crochet flower in my hair and last year there was no way I would have done that. This year I put it on, went out and straight away I got a compliment, wow you look lovely. That, so it just shows you, it, even if the person hadn't said wow you look lovely, I felt lovely, I felt great and I went out and I went to the shop, so where, I can't remember where I went. I think I went to the library and I just felt great and I, I just don't think about are people going to look at me, do I look daft, what will people say, what will people think, I mean because who cares, who really cares and this journey so far for me has made me feel yeah you can, you know you can do, you can wear, you can make anything you want if you feel comfortable. Now, I don't know if you've been following me, but I'm obviously, I'm also been losing weight this year since the beginning of the year. Actually, it's been a bit of a year for me, I think. And I've got one pound to go for my two stone award. And it's, that also has given me the body confidence too. Now, I'm only losing weight for me. I'm losing it purely for me and how I look and how I feel. I did set a target for three stone, but I don't think I'm going to go to the three stone because I think when I get to the two stone, I think I'm going to be happy where I'll, where I'll be. And it, I did say to myself, when I walk past a shop window, the reflection in a shop window or in the, the conservatory window, which is just out there, and I think, yes, that's when I know I'm at the way I want to be. Um, and I'm almost there, almost there. So again, the weight loss, the dressmaking, I'm 54. It's just all come together this year and I've made so many lovely sewing friends through Instagram. My new sewing friend, Rosie, at Rosie Sews Modern Vintage. That has just spurred me on. It's given me confidence. It's just making me feel like um, I belong somewhere. It's really strange, can't explain it. Um, and it just, it just, I feel, I'm feeling really good. So I'm trying to say to you out there, if you are dressmaking or you just, you know, in, a, in, a, in an age where you think, I can't wear that, it's too young, or I look ridiculous, but I really like it, but I'm not gonna wear it. Well, then seriously, don't. If you like something, you feel comfortable in it, it makes you feel confident, it makes you feel good, you wear it, you or buy it, you don't have to be dressmaking, you wear it, you wear it and you go out there and you rock it, honestly, because who are we doing it for? We're doing it for ourselves, we're not doing it to make somebody else happy, I mean obviously you don't want to offend people or you don't want to like upset people, but at the end of the day you're doing something for you. So this video really is about how I have come on this year since I started my dressmaking, I'm more happier in myself, I'm more confident in myself, I'm so enjoying sewing and finding out what I like and also I've made so many online friends. This sewing community is so friendly, everybody's there for everybody, you, everybody's comments and it's just, it's just lovely, it is like a big sewing family and I feel great to be part of it and it just it's just really wonderful. So basically that is what this video is about today really. So so yeah, so I hope you like this video. I hope I've inspired you too to feel more confident in your dressmaking, in your sewing, in how you dress, in what you wear and how you feel because at the end of the day it's all about you. If you're happy then obviously it's going to radiate elsewhere, it's going to radiate from you around other people. So it's it's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? So I hope you like this video. I hope I haven't gone on too much. I just wanted to share with you how I'm feeling and this year so far for me and my dressmaking. If you did like this video, please 
give me a lovely thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed and you like my videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button let me know in the comments box below how you feel with your dressmaker and your body confidence and do you feel confident or you're getting there or is it still something that you struggle with i'd love to hear what you think oh and before i go if you would like to receive either the betty blouse or the sarah shirt please pop your name in the box below and I'll do my best to send it out to two lucky people. But until the next time, I'm off to do some sewing. Surprise, surprise. Oh, and I've got some crochet to do too, but that's on the other channel. Until the next time, please take care and happy sewing.